regulations are pending for schools that turn out certified nursing assistants, also known as CNAs. CNAs are commonly hired at nursing homes. The rules come after the Call 6 investigators exposed a school operator with a questionable program. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us live in the newsroom with the details. Rafael. Erica, good evening. This is a big deal because there are thousands of state certified CNAs in Indiana. We'll probably need many more as we all get older. So it's key for CNAs to get good training. The problems the Call 6 investigators detailed at Indianapolis-based Short-Term Technical Training Institute last year played a role in the planned changes coming to CNA training schools. State inspectors were aware of some of the problems with the institute, but not all. For example, they were unaware that the school's owner had previously come under investigation by a separate state agency over financial concerns. Now new state rules require CNA school applicants to list all people who have a financial stake in the program and disclose any past regulatory problems. The call six investigators also responded and assisted a number of students who complained about not getting their certifications. Regulators also tell us that they plan on beefing up training expectations for all future CNAs, considering the increased demand for their services. So current three-week programs may be a thing of the past. We don't see a way to avoid additional clinical time as well as additional classroom time. And, you know, as you add information into the curriculum, um, we don't see information that we can eliminate. The new curriculum and training changes would begin in 2014, and future CNA students will be expected to learn more about how to handle patients, for example, with pressure sores as they live longer in nursing homes and related health centers, and also how to respond to infectious diseases. That's also another one of the issues that they want CNAs to be more trained in, Erica. So, Rafael, are there any plans to change how these schools are reviewed? You know, I asked that, and currently they are reviewed once every two years. There's no immediate plan to change that for now, just a commitment to respond to any complaints about those schools more quickly. All right, Rafael Sanchez, live in the newsroom. Thanks, Rafael.